and it's great that you're starting a new video. We're here at Burger Vision, they've let us use their kitchen and, of course, a professional burger board. You read the title, we're going to grill supermarket burger patties, but fresh ones, not frozen ones, and of course we'll see which ones have the most fat. We've got Penny, we've got Lidl, we've got Kaufland, we've got Riwi. Someone insulted me. Yes, no need to waste any time, we're going straight in. Thanks to Burgerwishin for doing this. You want someone who does it professionally and gets us the best results. We're just going in now. Today is important. I won't know which burger I'm eating. I'm just being served something. I don't know which supermarket it's from. We've prepared some awesome things, including Wagyu, we've got English, but of course also the house ones, which I'm particularly interested in. Which ones are the most popular? Yes, we'll fade it in, let it come to you and we'll get started now. We're just taking meat and a bit of sauce and the patties. It doesn't matter whether it's the perfect burger or not. We just want to taste the meat patty very well and now the pickles or onions on top are distorting it a bit too much, which will allow us to imagine it better. That's how we're doing it. The other one. Well, as I said, I have no idea whose is whose. Huh. Number 2. I'm going straight in. It's got exactly the same vibes as back then, apart from the burger patty. I don't know why, but these are exactly the vibes going in here. A clear number. This one is definitely better. This one is one of those things, could be a frozen thing. I know they're all fresh. Feels like a frozen patty and some burger patties come out of the pan when you add oil. They absorb a lot more of the oil taste and when it gets hot they have an unpleasant oil taste in them. Al, this one is not good at all. It's really disgusting. I'll go that far with these. I don't want to say unpleasant. That's along those lines. I definitely wouldn't buy it again. I would buy it again. In conclusion, you have a really nice, fine armor. I would say a classy feeling here for a supermarket patty. Mind you, right? I'm not ranking with any burgers from any burger shops, but this is absolutely reasonable for that. This one is not that good. Now I'll give it a good ranking here for 7 points. I would have given it 3. In fact, I wouldn't have given it any more. Now we're going into round 2. I'm excited. I don't even know what's from whom yet. So, let's see, I don't even know what to expect here yet. So, and the others too. Let's go in here too. Not bad. Here it seems as if there is some seasoning in the burger. I don't know, but it is definitely spicy. It is spicy. What hasn't come out with any of the others so far is a certain frozen flavor. It isn't frozen. But I don't know if it was maybe frozen at some point and then thawed, these things always do. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, I can say, but they all have a bit of a frozen feel, but also no flavor. It really goes through, we put it in once, the meat is much harder. It also seems to me as if it has some kind of spice in it. I don't think that's a good thing. You can't say for sure. 
Sometimes we put burger sauce on it and when these ingredients mix together and acclimatize, sometimes flavors emerge. You can't tell exactly, but this one definitely has some kind of spice in it and a special thing and I find that disadvantageous. Well, this one is somehow not that well seasoned, also very hard, but mind you, it's the one with the best meat taste so far, if I fill myself up like that, it's good that I keep eating a little longer, best meat taste, I know we have a tight burger and I swear I don't know which burgers are which, I could bet that it's the tight one, it'll come around the back, because you can't taste this one anymore, your mouth gets used to it, they're thrown in and you can't taste it anymore, and now it's better, you have to survive the evaluation, guys, I have to think about that for a moment, we don't have our feet free for long, they'll go into the third round, then you'll get the evaluation from this round and the last round together, we're going full speed ahead, third round is coming now. Awesome, Jens. Dream, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, here's our number 2 burger. I suspect it will all look more or less the same to you out there anyway, I'll still show it here. Now I'm really curious, especially at the end, to find out which one is from which manufacturer. It tastes like chicken skin has been rattled into the back or something, really, without exaggerating, it's heavy, it was heavy. I'll pass it on to the team behind the camera straight away. No, just heavy, I don't want to say anything else for now. It doesn't taste that great either, the same phenomenon as one burger, it absorbs the oil a bit more than the others, also a slightly unpleasant aftertaste, minimal. The pleasant aftertaste goes away. So there's not much to say, I don't know if there's a slight seasoning in it, I don't think so, that must be the burger sauce, it's pretty unspectacular, as I said, it's not really recommendable, to put it bluntly, this one is just standard, I'll think about the rating for a moment and then we'll see when we get to the rating. I had number 1 with 3 points, which one was it? B Penny. Bast at Penny, okay, so it didn't color, I gave number 2 6.7 points, in case we missed it, I downgraded it again, don't be surprised, so, I said, it tastes a bit like a classic hamburger, kind of basic, what was it, Lid Biorent, Lidl Biorent, okay, that wasn't bad, 6.7 from me, Lidl, props go out, round 2, I didn't give you any points for that either, dot, let's start with number 3, right, I gave it 6.8 points, yes, I knew it, I swear on my mother, I swear on my life, I didn't know which one it was, so, I'll tell you straight out, in terms of the thing, it's the best thing, because you noticed that the meat taste is the best, but too compressed and the seasoning wasn't quite right, but in terms of the thing it's the best thing, not in terms of the rating, I gave number 4 7 points, you raggio reeb waggio who awesome, yes, because it tasted just finely spiced, simply the most well-rounded thing, not that hamburger taste, somehow that typical one, although it isn't bad at all, but it was simply a well-rounded thing, number f gets a solid 5 points from me, simply not good, not bad, just somehow right in the middle, hamburger, Lidl hamburger, tell me what the last one was, the viewers already know, hamburger, really, I'm sorry, I have, you know, I'm still giving a consolation point, I gave 0 points because it's really easy, it didn't work, guys, it worked, it really didn't work, I don't know what I should give a point for here, I have to say it so bluntly, inedible, that was really, really bad, you just have to say it clearly and distinctly, awesome, guys, I can only say it again and again with this format, I love these tests from the supermarket, if you see it that way too, you have to give it a thumbs up so that it goes viral and share it and write a comment about what I'll be testing next from supermarket, if you're up for it, I'll test it, I'm really happy about it and that's why I'll just say have a nice day and see you next time. Ah, 